Seen the horrendous destruction uh, to the Houston area. Most of Texas really hit hard by Hurricane Harvey, making sure that people are safe. One job, but taking care of pets and animals, totally a different story. So how can you help and how should you help? Patty is here with the CEO of uh, Indie Humane Society, uh, Stephen Stolen. Good to see you, Stephen. Good to see you. Nice to be here. I understand that the, uh, the Humane Society has already taken in some pets from Houston, right? We have. We, we're part of a, a kind of a, a thing larger than us, but yes, we brought 11 animals from Texas. Uh, home uh, to their new central Indiana home uh, on sun on Monday. Yeah. My goodness. And some of the stories coming out of there uh, in regards to these pets? Well, these are animals that were in shelters, okay. Phil. They were animals that actually we're taking here in Indianapolis so that there's room for for animals in the shelter that are being rescued by the flood right. in hopes that in Texas then those animals and those pets will be re reunited with their families or the or their owners. Because a lot of these shelters were also flooded out as They're well. They're all full. And yeah. we, these animals were not traumatized by the flood. They were already in a shelter, so they do go through a certain amount of anxiety flying to, from Texas to O'Hare and then sure. transported here. But they're great. There's 11 of them. They're terrific animals. And, and what we'll, we'll do, we do you know, every day, get them ready, and they'll go home with folks in central Indiana probably in the next couple of weeks. Good and, for you guys. And go I ahead, do Patty. think we have some video of you picking them up. And yeah. there we go, right there. Yeah, we, we went up with two staff. Two of my colleagues went up on Sunday. Um, there's a wide variety of dogs. There's from Chihuahuas mm -hmm. to Labradors. Um, they're all doing just great. Good. And um, it's part of what we can do. Um, we we integrate them into the work that we're doing all, all, already, so it doesn't really change anything about our day-to-day -day operations. It's right. just something that we can do, and you know my staff is terrific, and they figure out a way. We've also learned some information about this as well, and, and what else we can do is we can also uh, go about helping the folks down there in, in Houston by sending the things they actually they need. Correct. I saw this on the on the air the other day. Some of this stuff is ending up in a landfill because right. people are sending yeah. homemade cookies or yeah. you know a big teddy bear, and maybe that's not what they need. So, Stephen, can you address yeah. what it, we should do? It's really all well intended. People want to be generous. Sure. They want to they, they want to help. I th I think it's really important to know that you really want to folks want to be in touch with authorities there that can put their good intentions to good work there. And right. So whether it's cash or whether it's supplies, you know, sending bags of dog food doesn't really help right. because it may not get to where it needs to go. So we're advising people to go to our website, um, or there's, uh, there's another site in Austin which has a little bit of distance there, and so they're able to actually help logistically with the animal welfare folks in East Texas and in Houston. Mm -hmm. So, But the important thing is that folks, you know, their help is welcome. We want to make sure that they send the kinds of supplies right. and are helping in the ways that really help on the ground. And make sure you do a reputable uh, donation. Absolutely. Or a reputable Correct. organization. Yep. You can get that through there. But yeah. people want to help, and I understand that. You want to do something personal. Oh, I'll make some cookies. But that's not really, yeah. right. it's not right. going right. to work. And, yep. and it's also important for folks to know that they're going to continue to need help. Mm -hmm. yeah. So a week oh, yeah. from now, two weeks from now, even a month from now, that help is still going to be going to be needed on the ground. And Houston. it looks like not only in Houston, but also in Florida and the southeast yeah. as well, unfortunately. We're already Irma. getting yeah. calls. Would we be ready? And the answer is we'll be as ready as we can be and try to respond to that as as the leader in this sector in central Indiana, really in Indiana. Good for you, Steve. trying to be helpful. Thank Absolutely. you. It's great to be here, and we hope that folks will want to reach out and help and then go to our website. Good to see you again. Go ahead, Patty. <laughs> I can't see around the dog. Disaster preparedness yes. uh, with Tom Doc. This weekend, Pet Pals TV, uh, 8.30 WNDY, 10 o'clock Sunday morning on Wish TV. All right. All right. Good stuff. Thank you both. Uh, Randy, we'll send it on over to you. I know that you're tracking uh, Irma.